गुड आफ्टरनून ऑल सो कैसे हो आप सब uh, अभी यहाँ पर तो आफ्टरनून हो रहा है तो ठीक है मेरे लिए आफ्टरनून ही है आई डोंट नो अबाउट यू बट ओके फाइन सो होपफुली यू ऑल माइट बी डूइंग वेल दिस वीडियो शुड बी शेड बी इन इंग्लिश बिकॉज आई वॉन्ट मैक्सिमम ऑफ यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड एंड यू नो दिस मैसेज इज क्लियर टू यू लेट्स टॉक अबाउट विल एस आई टूडे as you all know and you might be aware as well uh, india as a destination uh, uh, as a center uh, hub uh, it is actually a promising destination for investors for the companies aapko uh, uh, i use hindi so sorry for that yeah so you might have heard uh, you might have came to know that micron it's an american uh, semiconductor company it is going to establish a fab uh, for memory based chips so uh, packaging and assembly unit is there not ac- actually fab but uh, it's a packaging and uh, assembling uh, unit there so somewhere in gujarat near um, i guess anand or ahmedabad so it has decided to set up an uh, unit there and uh, already the construction has begun moreover uh, you might be also knowing about a company called Foxconn right it's a Taiwanese company uh, earlier it had uh, come into a joint venture with an indian company vedanta for again for uh, putting up a semiconductor fab so like many companies are pitching up and pitching in uh, to participate in the growth story of india as a nation because uh, and due especially due to the geopolitical situation today as we all know uh, the world is trying to you know uh, the world wants to reduce the reliance on china and since china is actually undoubtedly one of the most uh, you know uh, one of the countries where the semiconductor industry is quite you know focused on currently because uh, all the fabs and all and uh, cheap electronic components the manufacturers suppliers they all are based in china okay and the factories as well uh, so slowly slowly companies are moving uh, out of china and they are uh, trying to establish their uh, you know uh, design centers uh, their uh, you know manufacturing units in countries like india in countries like uh, vietnam countries like malaysia so these are the potential hubs and potential countries where uh, you know uh, uh, the companies are going forward many companies synopsys samsung and all all these giants they are opening up cadence they are opening up uh, design centers design centers are nothing but uh, uh, it's a place where uh, the whole team sits like for team as in see uh, uh in semiconductor in vlsi actually there are quite a lot of things uh, it's uh, you know it's not in this scope of the video to discuss everything but if i summarize in brief uh there's something called design phase where the actually whatever you are trying to design obviously the end product is a chip it's a chip chip is nothing but uh chip is something like uh, if you want to implement something like uh, for example if you want uh, a chip which can control the you know uh, the operation of your car for example if you have a driverless car which has features like uh, you know smart uh, uh, android auto sort of things like you can you know gesture control voice control you can control your car using a voice you just give a voice command and that car you know the 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 lights go off the lights go on and uh, it gives you updates of the weather and uh, uh, without a driver the car is you know uh, able to you know propagate that's nothing but a driverless car correct so for in order to achieve that uh, you need a lot of systems and the brain behind that the brain behind that is actually made in and stacked up and put up 
in a small semiconductor or silicon piece of silicon and that is nothing but a chip this chip nowadays uh, we are talking about socs uh, system on chip where which actually have uh, the whole system in just one this small chip so uh, and uh, SOC is nothing but uh, it's a uh, it's a something like a small computer a small computer made for to made to do some specific task like to uh, you know control all the uh, things in a car just a small example okay so all these chips uh, first first of all we look to design these things like what all things will fit into this small chip when when all this is designed and later obviously since you're designing and uh, since you're designing and you have a motive in in uh, in the back of your mind so you will be you know you will be you will go ahead and test it right you will test that a chip uh whether the all the things which you are expecting to be uh, expecting from that uh uh things it will behave uh, like that or not correct so testing happens design testing and then all these things are okay like the chip is i mean the design is behaving correctly as per designer the person who actually designs that system architect we call these people so system architect or people who are highly experienced uh, who have experience of 10 to 20 years in vlsi industry okay so these people actually design the whole chip how will the chip look like what all things will be there so once all this is done then that is sent to the foundry foundry is nothing but a it's a, it's a shop where you actually submit some file you know sort of a file which can which actually has all the uh design details of the design okay it's actually put up in a small file and then you send it to the shop okay and you uh say that and and you order order that from the shop that see i am providing you this file uh i want you to make give me chips out of this file you, you perform some operations on this file and give me a usable thing that is something but a chip correct so this is in simple words this is the thing this is actually the flow or road map or it's a flow chart in vlsi industry from zero to a final working product which is a chip okay so so that is the story so like and obviously since uh, india is one of those countries which uh, is which has proved to be you know a, a very promising destination so we have uh, currently we have the the tech i mean not the tech but uh, we have the people who are actually who are the, who have that brains to you know to work on this and to think on upon these things bring up some innovative solutions and solve the problems which are actually there in the real life and the people who are behind making of these those chips we have them they are indians most of them are indians so people are coming up companies are coming up here and they putting up the design centers right but we don't have any manufacturing unit as it now we just only design that's it like we just do all things and give it to a shop we ourselves don't have that shop where we are actually going to going and giving the file so the idea the gov- uh, government is also pushing forward and uh, they are proposing that no uh, this is not uh, enough uh, okay that's very good that we are designing we are designing we are giving the file to the the shop but uh, uh, go- india wants that uh, we should have uh, the shop in uh, our country only so that will eventually you know uh, that has uh, that has a lot of lot of benefits economic economic benefits it inc- also increases your you know uh, soft power so that many benefits are there so uh, that is why uh, the government of india is stressing upon to you know uh, attract investors attract companies to build uh, fabs to build up uh, manufacturing setups 
in india itself where we can actually you know the shops can be set up here itself in india currently uh, we have these shops are currently there in uh, taiwan there's a company called tsmc which is actually a fab it uh, manufact uh, it you know it makes chips for apple you, you use an iphone right you, if you use an iphone many people are using the iphone so that a17 bionic chip a16 and for that matter macbook okay macbook has a series of processors m1 m2 m3 nowadays m3 is come so these all processors are made by tsmc so tsmc uh, is the name of the company it's stood in taiwan and tsmc has a, a huge setup uh, in taiwan itself so and moreover we have some fabs or these shops in south korea samsung has those and intel has those in america so these are the companies intel uh, obviously they are manufacturing uh, uh, processors for laptops correct so these are the, these are the giants which are actually opening those shops which i was talking about so that the idea of the government is to establish those shops here itself in india okay fine that is good what next to do that we need some uh, talent right we need people who are who are actually capable of doing that we need people who would be going in those shops we need more people uh, who would be actually designing the brain the all the stuff which will fit in that chip and we need people who would be verifying those things whether these thing got things which the designer has made has designed whether it's actually working or not so correctly uh, correct right so uh, uh, the demand of those people of people who are various engineers will exponentially grow over the years and it uh, we can see like uh, uh, like and as a result like many of freshers like many of people uh many of the people who are you know in their btech who are doing their btech who are doing their mtech btech guys are more confused mtech guys are quite i mean relatively smarter than uh, btech guys so btech guys ask uh, like we as a fresher i mean the things which are taught in college and the things which are actually you know which are actually required in industry there's a mile there's a lot of difference so that's a fact so uh that is true that needs to be covered but the um, idea of today's video was what you what uh, one thing you should have for you know go, uh, entering into wireless industry that one thing which you have which we should have if you want to enter wireless industry is a uh, third order thinking this is all for all those freshers who usually ask like uh, what do we actually need how do we prepare for the interviews and all what is actually needed in the wireless industry like if i want to enter wireless industry what i need to do so number one funda there are many but the main primary reason which will eventually you know serve as a backbone for you in the um, in the coming years of your journey in wireless industry is third order thinking effect of effect of effect that's nothing but third order thinking right so what do you mean by third order thinking let me give you an example <clears throat> uh suppose there are suppose there are two roads okay mm, okay let's take this example only suppose there you are in a y uh, y intersection right you are going on a road and and if you go ahead right you will find a y intersection like this the one road is going towards this side one road is, is going towards this side and this is the road from where you are coming right <coughs> so you have two options primarily either go towards left either go towards right okay a normal person will think like this towards left towards right okay so 
a person who will who would be having this trait of of doing third order thinking or let us say high order thinking that person will not just restrict himself or herself to these two options only that person will think like acha okay we, i have these two options what else apart from these two that person will think like that and this is the main thing which you require in vilasa industry because as you grow further in the vilasa industry you will encounter such situations you might be having knowledge okay you might be having uh, detailed knowledge about very log about power automation techniques about cdc technique okay but if you don't know uh, about this one thing which is high order thinking uh, you will not be able to create an impact which you are you which you, you which you are uh, you know trying to you wish you wish to create an impact right you want that yes i want to you know excel in vilasa industry so if you want to excel in vilasa industry only basic funda which i believe which you should have is third order thinking one more example <clears throat> one more example uh, for third order thinking is that sun rises in the east this is a statement correct uh, then i ask you people is this statement true there are two options one is yes one is no you can pause the video and you can you know give a comment and give your answer in the chat section comment section done correct done okay fine what if i tell you that none of the answers are correct <laughs> so sun doesn't rise in the east it appears to rise in the east correct so a person who has not done high or a thinking he will just take he will just give an he or she will give an answer yes sun rises in the east because this was taught to us in the, in our schools but a person who is who thinks who who doesn't have a shallow thinking who has who who has the ability ability to you know uh, think uh, in high levels first or second order third order fourth order fifth order the effect of effect of effect if that person is able to you know calculate and you know uh, make out the effect of effect of effect i i hope you guys are able to understand the effect of effect of effect if that person is able to identify this thing effect of effect of effect of effect then only that person will say are uh, what i what are discussing bro sun is sun is in rising in the east it appears to rise in the east so that's the thing that is something but third order, third order thinking or let us say high order thinking so and the more higher you go uh, the more valuable you become and more you know lethal you become in, in terms of skills not skills but uh, in terms of you know iq uh, iq is a very important uh, in real science because you need to think you need to think you need to think whether you know, for example if if you have a particular resistor so uh, what if uh, <clears throat> on a control if a control signal comes will this get reset or will if and if this gets reset let's say the control signal has arrived and the, the resistor has changed its value whether it will have an impact on other resistors if you are able to trace the impact of this change of of this resistor in the other in the other parts of your very log design uh, let's say okay so if you are able to do this then you are a good vlsi you will be a good vlsi engineer and you will excel if you're not then you will struggle you will find your way out but you will struggle so that was uh, only one thing which uh, i wanted to share with you guys uh, many of my subscribers were asking me like uh, uh, you know uh, many of freshers are asking what do you require what i need to do if i want to enter real estate industry this is the only thing this is the thing the basic fundament basic fundamental thing which you need to have the ability to uh, think 
beyond uh, a particular ceiling not just yes no beyond that so hopefully it's a long 20 minute video i hopefully i didn't uh, i hope it was not boring for you if it was then please comment no issues i will uh, i i will uh, try to uh, ensure that the videos are uh, you know short and crisp i will try to summarize and squeeze the information so that it saves time for you but uh, so certain times you know uh, uh, things are uh, meant are well understood if that things are you know explained in, in detail so that is what i believe but okay that's fine uh, i hopefully this video was helpful for you you have, might have gained a lot or might have gained from this video if you have gained and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up uh please like the like the video give give it a thumbs up uh share your views on what i told whether you agree or not whether you have achieved that level or not share your views on the comment section down below and subscribe to our channel because uh, that really gives me a push and it motivates me to share these thoughts with you guys so thank you so much for watching uh and till then uh, stay tuned uh, for more such uh, exciting content and uh, amazing videos thank you so much bye bye